Now, for the next raid of the day, I wanted to show a hybrid hog raid. Now, I've been just reading stuff on forums about how hogs are now dead with the skeletons. And I think, look, pure hog raids are, are pretty hard to pull off now um, if, if the skeletons are in the core of the base. But this is a good example of how um, hogs have now got a, like a new role. You need to look at how can you combine them with some other attack type, commonly um, go wee wee or go wee wee, um, and how you can use, still use hogs to three star a base. Now this attack is from I, uh, Ivan, who is an epic attacker, um, was a superb hogger before, and you can see how, what he's done, he's adapted to the new style by uh, moving to hybrids. Um, so what I'll, I'll, uh, firstly, I'll just have a look at this attack um, structure. So he's got almost a full go we weep um, with, you know, um, two witches, a bunch of wizards, but not as many wizards. So he's used the wizards to sort of fund the hogs. The other thing he's done is only three wall breakers. So he's picked the base that doesn't need many wall breakers, and that way um, he can um, get more hogs. Um, and also he's picked a base that doesn't need a jump, which means he can use a um, heal spell on the hogs, which is pretty important in terms of making the hybrid work. So so it's almost a full go we weep um, as a result of picking the right base, and, and he's able to run a heal and some hogs rather than potentially a jump and more wizards. Now let's have a look at the attack. So given he's running um, go we weep, um, what I'll first do is he will lure. Um, so he sends in some a bunch of hogs to jump over here to just pull out the clan castle troops. Now you um, to try and win to try and three star without luring, I think is very very difficult. So he uses an archer um, to draw, and you'll see that because they've left the building on the outside, they've left quite a cheap draw, just a one troop draw to the the south. Um, just an archer because um, an archer can be out of range and actually draw that building. Now the thing here is, so, so why has he picked this base? Well, you, with this base, you can actually jump, you, you can just use three wall breakers to open up the core. So if he uses some sort of troop shield, like golems, um, drop say here and here, and then drops three wall breakers, he can open up this section here um, because the mortar will be shooting sideways, the archer towers will be shooting sideways, so he's got a really easy way to open up this core, and just and so three wall breakers to get to the core with no spells is why he's picked this type of base for this hybrid attack. So he'll draw them down, then probably like go drop a two two three CC, and he's dropped his queen behind because he's probably going to attack from here and here, and so you may as well just have the queen come through the center. Now again, as in all go um, go wipe um, three star attacks, you'll see they try and protect their CC troops, uh, the, or the the um, clan castle kill troops. And so what he's done, done is drop two golems here, drop three wall breakers here to open up the pocket, and then he'll drop his heavy hit point troops so they can go through early and hopefully set off any giant bombs in there. He's dropped a freeze and a second of freeze. I'll just pause it there. So why is he, he drops the two freezes early, so that way he preserves his troops, and you can see that he's captured a lot of damage in those freezes. He's got um, an Inferno, he's got the Heroes, um, he's, he's got a tel uh, two Telsas he grabbed and some cannons, and so that way, and he may have even frozen, you know, he's got some skeletons as well. So you can see he's grabbed, frozen a lot of the damage doing potential early in his attack which means that these troops will go well well into this, this sort of main pocket before they're suffering a lot of damage. So it rages them through, so they knock stuff off early. Sets off all the bombs with the big troops. He's lost a lot of his small troops there. So he's lost a lot of wizards and witches. Um, and then what he's done is dropped hogs. He heals them early because he doesn't want the, um, them drop, um, dying to the splash. And he was a bit lucky here. If there was a, a giant bomb here, that would have really hurt him. Um, but so, um, that way his hogs are 
in fairly good shape and so what he's done is used his main heavy hit point troops to open up that pocket which you could open with just three wall breakers and no jump and he uses some the hogs to run around the back of the base because you can see there's not much defense there um, so the hogs will probably make it most of the way around you can see not much defense on the perimeter here um, so um, this will just run around and that will also help protect the troops in the middle So you can see the hogs at pretty much full strength for the first three, um, for the first, for the first three buildings. Uh, so he's, he's done a bit, of, done a bit of damage there, but one of the hogs jumped through and set off those, those baby bombs. He's still got his queen ability, and the queen ability should help just take out those two defenses, and then there's pretty much nothing left. So a good example of um, how to adjust your hogging or your go wipe for, for a hybrid attack. Um, you know, pick a base where you can get cheap into the core and you don't have to use a jump. And that way um, he's able to go go where most of the defense and just hog um, the few buildings which are left on the perimeter. And we'll just speed that up and we'll see he will three star. Always nice to have your queen left over. The great attack from Eva. Uh, Ivan and a great example of how to adapt your hogging for the new skeleton traps.